We grew up with various moving image format starting from the television era until now the internet. Our consciousness begins with the desire to remake what we see on the television until we have a distance from what we look at. This experience has shaped our artistic practice. The notion of hyperreality pop up in our discussion starting from one of our experience when my mother starts to confuse to differentiate which one is real event and which one is fully computer generated. With the recent technological advancement where the image could be as real as it could be and the rapid circulation of information, it's quite hard to really digest what we have consumed through our digital screen. Our practice tends to make the gap wider between the representation and its actual event through various mediums that could address the issue that we try to bring up. We found a story about this stingless jellyfish that still live in a prehistoric lake in the middle of the ocean near Borneo Island while we were exploring weather forecast data on the internet as an activation tool in our works. We are intrigued by the fact that the stingless jellyfish is the result of an evolution of thousands of years because no other species could survive to live in this specific ecosystem which is landlocked by salt and rainwater. It is fascinating to learn that the jellyfish is an asexual species and could reproduce by eating the light from the sun. This story of jellyfish that could survive millions of years and go through various geological epochs could be a mirror to our life condition right now in relation to the climate changes. We would like to emphasize the way we experience our surroundings nowadays through images. We build our perception of things from sets of images. Our experience is mostly shaped by the representation of reality rather than experiencing it directly. The world of Solaris was made from photos and video footages that we took from our research trip to Kakaban Island. We try to create Solaris ex ecosystem by combining natural shapes such as sand, coral, plant, water with human ge geometrical shapes. We are intrigued to draw side by side between what is human-made and nature-made. 